How to test an Ethernet port. Are you having trouble with your Ethernet connection? Wondering how to test an Ethernet port to figure out what's going wrong? Let's break it down step by step. First, start with the basics. Make sure your Ethernet cable is securely plugged into both your personal computer and the router, switch, or modem. A loose connection can often be the culprit behind connection issues. Take a moment to inspect the cable and the port for any visible damage or debris. If everything looks good, try using a different Ethernet cable. Sometimes, the cable itself can be faulty, and swapping it out can help you rule out that possibility. Next, check the network status on your personal computer. If you are using a Windows operating system, go to Settings, then Network and Internet, and select Ethernet. You should see a status message indicating whether you are connected or if there is an issue that needs attention. If your connection still isn't working, try connecting another device to the same Ethernet port using the same cable. If that device connects successfully, the issue may lie with your personal computer's Ethernet port or network adapter. Another useful step is to run the built-in diagnostic tools on your Windows system. Right, click the network icon in your system tray and select Troubleshoot Problems. This tool can help identify common issues and sometimes even fix them automatically. Next, let's check the Device Manager. Open it up and expand the Network Adapters section. Look for your Ethernet adapter and see if there are any error icons next to it. If you see a red X or a yellow warning symbol, that could indicate a problem with the adapter or port. For more advanced testing, consider using an Ethernet cable tester. This device checks the continuity and wiring of the Ethernet cable and port. It usually consists of two units. One plugs into your personal computer and the other into the other end of the cable. A successful test will show a good connection through a beep or light indicator. You can also use command prompt commands to reset network settings and test connectivity. For example, typing ipconfig releases followed by ipconfig renew refreshes your IP address. The ping command can test communication with your router or another device, while netch int ip reset resets the transmission control protocol internet protocol stack. Another thing to check is the Ethernet speed and duplex settings. Ethernet ports negotiate speed and duplex mode with connected devices. If there is a mismatch, it can lead to slow speeds or connection drops. Make sure that auto negotiation is enabled for both speed and duplex in the network adapter properties. If you suspect your built-in Ethernet port is faulty, try using a USB to Ethernet adapter. If the connection works with the adapter but not the built-in port, you may have a defective port. When dealing with Ethernet speed negotiation failure, it is essential to confirm that both your personal computer's Ethernet port and the connected device are set to auto-negotiate speed and duplex. If one side is set to a fixed speed while the other is on auto, it can lead to connection failures. Testing the port involves verifying the auto-negotiation settings on both ends, trying a different port on the router or switch, and observing link lights on the Ethernet port to confirm a physical connection. Running speed tests once the connection is established can also help confirm that everything is working properly. By following these steps, you can effectively test your Ethernet port and diagnose any issues you may be facing with your connection.